The Book of True Life, Volume Ten, Teaching to Aid, Love Each Other. Let the essence of my word be your spirit, so that it may overflow from your heart and become converted into deeds of charity, spiritual peace, and teachings that you are offered to your brethren. The footprints that this multitude will leave on earth will be of peace, demonstrating to the world that it truly possesses the key to spirituality. Its mission is to erase the boundaries that exist between nations in order to unite people spiritually, thus destroying the heritage that Babel passed on to humanity. All nations on earth will be blessed by the divine teaching that I have given this new nation of spiritual Israel, for it will imitate the communication of spirit to spirit. Along its path, it will sow spirituality. Offer spiritual enlightenment and prepare the way for the regeneration of those who are lost. It will sow seeds in the human heart that will produce harmony and brotherhood among humanity. When will I speak of the mission of this multitude? I do so as God, as divine Father. When I teach you about your mission as judge, I order it. My teaching is for all beings throughout the universe, not only for those who are listening to it at this moment. During this era, I am giving this doctrine to a multitude of people, similar to the past eras when I also gave my law and my doctrine to a multitude of people, who then shared them with others. Because you are unaware of the power of my doctrine, it will be other nations that will truly cherish this doctrine. They not only will interpret this work correctly. But also practice it in a perfect manner. It is necessary that a doctrine be wise, strong, and powerful to spiritually enlighten men on earth, so that they will arise seeking the truth and spiritual elevation. Do you perhaps believe that I have come to reject the doctrine that I brought to mankind as a message of love during the second era? No, I have not. I have come again to bring it to you because it is no longer remembered on earth. Although my doctrine is found in books, man does not truly practice it nor carry it in his heart. Now I am returning to you with these teachings, because my love for mankind is eternal. Today I will place my doctrine of love in your spirit rather than in your heart, so that it will no longer be lost. It is the bread that will nourish the spirit, and there it will remain. During this era, I have chosen to manifest myself through humble and unknown individuals. I did this because I was unable to find among all the scholars and doctors on earth one individual who was truly spiritually prepared and through whom I could manifest myself. There was no one who was totally committed to fulfilling my will. Thus, I chose to give my teaching to humanity through individuals who were humble and ignorant on earth. Nothing is impossible for me. My will has been fulfilled and shall always be fulfilled, even when it seems that man is doing as he pleases. The time that man lives on earth is very brief in comparison to his eternal life. His reign on earth, his arrogance, and his conquest through force will come to an end quickly. Those events may cause a slight variation in the divine plans, but with the passage of time, all spirits shall fulfill my will. All things that are impure will be eliminated, and only the virtuous will remain. Soon I will judge the kingdom that man has established on earth. Truly, I tell you that arrogance, selfishness, deceit, negativity, and death will be destroyed, allowing only truth and righteousness to exist. Who will destroy those things that are evil? It will be man himself who will destroy those scientific discoveries that have harmed mankind. Only those scientific discoveries that truly help mankind will remain to illuminate the path for humanity. When man starts to follow my path, all the errors and centuries that he has sinned and disobeyed my law will be condensed into a single moment and forgotten. I will make that moment that stained the spiritual life of man disappear and become forgotten as the divine splendor of spiritual enlightenment illuminates mankind through the third era. It might seem to you that there are very few who listen to my word, but truly I tell you that a large multitude of spiritual beings who are individual to your eyes listen to my word with 
you and become spiritually enlightened. If man was aware of the spiritual gifts that he possesses, he would be able to eliminate much of his suffering. He has preferred to remain blind and spiritually asleep. Meanwhile, periods of great suffering are approaching. I have come to spiritually enlighten you with my divine with my doctrine in order to free you from the great suffering that was announced to humanity by my prophets in the past. There are some who believe that I punish mankind by unleashing upon them the elements of nature, but they are seriously mistaken. As nature evolves and transforms, there are disorders and disobediences that cause human suffering when man does not comply with the laws of God. There are disorders and disturbances that cause human suffering when man does not comply with the laws of God. Although those occurrences do reflect my justice, they are not punishment from God. Man would not need to suffer and be affected by those changes and disorders if he would live in harmony with nature. Man is a privileged being who possesses the divine presence of God to illuminate his spirit. Man would not be affected by those disturbances that occur in nature if he would lead a spiritually elevated life on earth. Faith and prayer are not enough to help man triumph over the ordeals and hardships that he experiences on earth. Man needs to accompany that prayer and faith with a virtuous, pure, and righteous life. If on many occasions you have felt that you triumphed over your ordeals because you prayed and had faith, in reality, it was my compassion for you that helped you to triumph rather than your own merits. In each of my teachings, I have told you to prepare yourselves and to be alert and pray. I do that so that you will achieve a high degree of spirituality, thus enabling you to live in harmony with all things that surround you and not be affected when there is turbulence among the elements of nature. It is necessary for you to understand the times in which you now live. Not only is it a time of transition for spiritual things, but also for the maternal nature that surrounds you. Be aware that the world in which you live is evolving towards perfection. This will enable it to receive beings in the future who are more elevated. Thus, as nature evolves and changes occur, it is normal that there will be disorders and disturbances during this period of transition. Man is now living during a period of great confusion on the earth. Not only is he confused intellectually and emotionally, but also spiritually. There is confusion everywhere, and man is suffering because he has entered a time of great ordeals without being spiritually prepared or knowing how to pray. He lacks faith and is unaware of his spiritual gifts. Only my love and power can save man from the chaos and confusion. My people, elevate your lives and prepare yourselves with this word of light that I have brought to you. Truly I tell you that you will not only save yourself, but you will also be able to protect and save many of your brethren. Remember the time when the Messiah was sailing with his disciples on a boat and the sea became turbulent and the waves strong? The disciples feared for their lives, seeing that the Messiah slept. They lacked the faith to save themselves, but the love of the Divine Master came to help them, giving them proof of his power over the elements. He extended his right hand and ordered the waters to become calm. These lessons were new for humanity in the past. But you, my disciples of this era, should not assume that my compassion will also save you, as it did my disciples in the boat. It is necessary that you develop the spiritual strengths that you possess and which you have now manifested in your being. My disciples in the second era learned my lesson. To fulfill their mission, they used their spiritual strength and gifts to help their brethren who were experiencing great ordeals. Do you want to be among those who, during this era, will offer testimony of the truth of this world? Practice spirituality in your life, because it will allow you to develop the spiritual gifts and strengths that are within your being. When man learns to practice true spirituality, he will become superior to all things on earth. Up until now, he has been weak and at the mercy of the elements. But this should not be so because the forces of nature are not superior to man. Although this teaching is brief, its content is profound. Study it, my disciples, and teach it to your brethren. Come to me, 
If you are lost, let me guide you once again. Elevate your thoughts to me. Speak to me as a child speaks to his father or to a trustworthy friend. I am the divine master who has come from time to time to give you his teachings. If you are enduring great sorrow and bitterness in your life, it is because you need to purify yourself before you come to me and not because I am punishing you. I am awaiting your arrival, but in order for you to not stumble when you return to this path, you will need my help. Thus, I am sending you spiritual enlightenment through these divine teachings which offer you revelations, inspiration, and strength. You are going to begin a new phase in your life. The path has been prepared. Take up your cross and follow me. I have not told you that there would be no ordeals on this path. However, you will hear a voice that offers you inspiration and advice when you confront a difficult and bitter ordeal. My love will help you to arise whenever you fall. Also, you will feel a gentle caress of my healing balls. Tomorrow, when this manifestation ceases and I no longer manifest myself through human spokesman, you will retain the essence of my teaching in your memory, offering you inspiration and guidance. You will pray as I have taught you. You will receive my inspiration from spirit to spirit whenever you unite with your brethren to study my word. When you gather with your brethren, you will be forming a temple filled with light and harmony. I want you to realize that these houses of prayer where you have gathered to listen to my teachings are not the true temple of the Lord. However, if you wish to continue to unite in these houses of prayer to study my teachings, once my manifestation ceases, you may continue to do so. You will unite to give one another strength, light, faith, inspiration, and more. Once you have studied and learned my teachings, you may gather to meditate and pray in your home an appropriate place to pray to the Divine Master. Also, you can pray in the peace and quiet of the valleys and friends and there feel my presence in you. The multitude needs to remain spiritually united and in harmony with my law. Gradually, you will become accustomed to living in unity as brethren. You will form the strong spiritual family that I want you to establish. When the multitude attains that harmony, truly I tell you, that you will be setting a good example for humanity. Remember that the leaf on a tree does not move without the will of God. Everything happens according to my will. Be joyful and have faith. If you are confronted by temptations along your path, pray and do not be afraid. Prayer is the essential weapon that you will use to battle and triumph over those temptations. Journey slowly, step by step along your path. Otherwise, you might stumble and fall into the abyss. Truly, you need to know your path so that later you will be able to teach it to your brethren. Do not be satisfied with the deeds that you have accomplished today, believing that you have attained enough merits for the perfection of your spirit. Study my teachings daily so that you may acquire new knowledge and learn important revelations. The disciple who studies will always hear my voice answering his questions. Also, he will be able to hear my parental counsel in doing his ordeals. The disciple who is hardworking will be strong in his love for his brethren and will feel that he has truly been blessed by the Divine Father. He will know when it is time to begin to fulfill his great spiritual mission among humanity. Each of my workers has been assigned a certain number of spirits whom he will guide, enlighten, comfort, and help attain inner peace. That portion will never be overwhelming because he will encounter them one by one along his path in life. My teaching today offers you encouragement and follow the advice. It is a simple teaching, but if you study it spiritually, you will discover the same gentle and divine message that I gave to the great multitudes in the second era at the Sermon on the Mount. My spirit is sending a ray of light from a spiritual cloud. It descends upon your being, enabling you to hear my teachings. I have brought you an elevated teaching, the same as the one that I revealed to you in another time. This doctrine is superior to all the knowledge that mankind possesses. Only the spiritual enlightenment from my doctrine will guide man to discover the true life. My doctrine teaches man to live an elevated, noble, and pure life on earth. It also prepares his spirit so that when it enters into the spiritual valley, it will continue to progress along the path of spiritual perfection. 
achieve merits on earth for your future life. There are those who suffer observing the great sorrow that exists among humanity. They feel that they are incapable of alleviating any of these hardships. Come to the Divine Master and I will teach you how to comfort, heal, and offer peace to your brethren. When you are practicing charity along your path, you may feel that what you are doing is very small in comparison to all the tragedies and great suffering that occur on earth. Nevertheless, I say to you that even though your deeds of charity appear to be small and insignificant, they will lessen the suffering that man is experiencing. Also, they will be counteracting the forces of war. You will work silently among humanity, but the moment will arise when that silence will be broken and the good news of my arrival will be heard throughout the world. The apostles of spirituality will not be alone. Great events will occur on earth that will be favorable for the spreading of my doctrine. Everything has been arranged in a perfect manner. I have revealed my path to you. Now you need to carefully study my teachings so that you will know my plan. You are being prepared for a life through my teachings and your ordeals. Some have failed to progress along the spiritual path in life because they have not utilized my teachings in order to triumph over adversity. Others, however, have prevailed because they have utilized the teachings learned from the Divine Master. Do not forget that trials strengthen and prepare your spirit. Tomorrow you will meet many individuals along your path who feel defeated and who will need to hear the testimony and words of spiritual enlightenment from their brethren who have been victorious over their ordeals. The Divine Master tells you to practice spirituality in your life because it will enable you to overcome your ordeals and also help you to cope with your material needs. Learn to pray because you can accomplish many good things through prayer and defend yourself from temptation. Prayer is both a weapon and a shield, but should only be used to sow in light. If you have enemies, you can defend yourself through prayer, but it should never be used to harm nor injure an individual. You will work in a pure and virtuous manner without adding to my doctrine any of the impure practices that exist on earth. This is my teaching. You have come with an open heart to receive his essence and you have received my spiritual enlightenment. My beloved people, I give you my healing balm and spiritual peace in each one of my words. Your spirit arises ready to listen to my voice. Now it is a true sanctuary and the echo of my word has penetrated into that sanctuary. Thus, my word has offered spiritual enlightenment and inspiration to your spirit offering the strength that it needs to reach the end of its journey. You are fully aware of the time in which you now live. You have arisen to follow me because your spirit knows that it came to earth. Thus, you are able to walk the path of my spiritual doctrine with great faith, and you will begin to worship me in a manner that I have taught you. I have prolonged the period of my manifestation during this era so that your faith and knowledge could be strengthened. I do not want you to say that, although the Divine Master was with you, you did not have sufficient time to learn of his truth. My doctrine filled with spirituality will flourish in the hearts of this multitude and will produce fruits of life and truth in the future. My word will spread throughout the world, and there will be no place on earth that it does not reach to purify, enlighten, and judge. The nations on earth will then begin to awaken to spirituality, to those things that are true and eternal. They will eliminate their materialistic forms of worship and will dedicate themselves to seeking the true essence of my law. Humanity will observe the power of spirituality and will separate itself from those things that have prevented it from spiritually progressing for many centuries. The cross is the symbol of Christianity, although there are millions of crosses throughout the world. They are of little value if man does not love one another and practice goodwill. The behavior of man is no longer influenced by his eternal and maternal forms of worship for he now lacks respect, faith, and does not regret offending his brother. This is why I say to you that symbols and external forms will disappear because their times has passed. 
they will be replaced by an inner and spiritual form of worship which will help man to become spiritually enlightened and will lead him to me. During this era, I will inscribe my law and construct my temple in the spirit of man, the purest part of his being. It will be his spirit that will listen to my voice. Whatever does not exist within the spirit of man does not really exist at all. Man may construct enormous temples in my honor or offer me ceremonies and banquets that are fulfilled with splendor. But those offerings will not reach me because they are not from the spirit. External worship always contains vanity and egotism. I welcome a worship from your spirit to my spirit that is humble, sincere, and full of truth. If you remember the parable of the Pharisee and the publican that I gave you during the second era, you will understand that the teaching I have given you has been the same in all eras. If you were to remove all the crosses from the earth that symbolize your Christian faith and instead truly love one another, I would not find fault within that. Your faith and worship would then be spiritual rather than external. This is what I await for mankind. If only your form of worship and symbols had the strength to prevent wars and addictions to vices, you would live in peace. Behold, how you lack respect for those things that are sacred and divine. Once again, I tell you that it would be better if there were not a single temple, altar, symbol, or religious image throughout the world. Instead, you need to pray with your spirit, to love your father, to believe in him without the need of symbols, and to love one another as I have taught you in my doctrine. Then you would be saved and would be following the path that my footprints traced with my blood. Footprints that sealed the truth of my teachings. The new manna will descend to nourish humanity once man renounces his idolatry and fanaticism. It will be unlike the manna that nourished the people of Israel as they journeyed through the desert in the first era. The new manna will descend directly to your spirit during the days of great ordeals. It will be the true bread from heaven, a spiritual bread that man will receive from my spirit to his spirit. The manna in the first era was only a symbol of representing the spiritual communication that man would achieve with God in the third era. In this era, the spirit of man will receive nourishment directly from the spirit of God. This multitude who has witnessed my manifestation has a great responsibility to humanity. It will need to set an example of true spirituality to teach mankind how to worship God spiritually, a worship that is worthy of God and that truly pleases Him. Open your heart and listen to the voice of your conscience so that you can judge each of your ordeals. Allow your conscience to tell you if you are interpreting my teachings correctly or if you are misinterpreting the meaning of my doctrine. Do not assume that you will achieve complete spirituality in a single day. Journey along the path of spirituality by taking small but firm steps and thus you will not stumble. Also, you will never want to separate from this path because of regrets of fear. Make sure that you are fully knowledgeable in each step, and soon you will see the fruits of your work. My peace be with you.